Now what do you make of this? It's a tape recorder box. Some of you may remember the first video I did of this tape recorder. Um, and I decided to redo it because it hasn't been, it hasn't, it, well, it never really got, uh, got along well too much. Uh, it goofed up a lot. It wasn't very bright. It was overall something that I'd want to redo, actually. Um, so I decided to redo it. Showing everything properly this time. Because I'm kind of disappointed with some of my videos and might be removing some of them pretty quick. But let's get on with the unboxing of the Lloyds. Back when I bought this, just actually when I first started collecting these things, um, I paid $3.49. I also picked up the Sony TC207C at the same day. Let's take a look at the box before. These big Lloyds. This one was made in Taiwan, by the way. So this is input jacks, and it's got all the different things. It's a bit like a bot. It's a bit like the manual, but not quite as good. It's that slot, kind of obvious. Those different things. And on the end, it says or, English end, sorry. Lloyd's cassette tape recorder. Plug in or battery, built in condenser microphone, end of tape automatic stop, battery's not included. Model number V114. You have to start with the fun part. Pulling the tabs out. Still has the box side. The foam ends. Ooh, some of them are really stuck on. Still has the original well the dongle plug. It's like a headphone plug, except there's no partition. Like, oh, I'll take a picture. I'll take this one, for example. You see that little black band that's right there? It's missing from this one. The dongle plug defeats your average, ordinary condenser mic. I'm not going to demonstrate that feature, but you can find a video of Clyde Set demonstrating it on his channel. He used the space rec tape recorder. Now, I've already got all the stuff I need on this tape. So that's all I have to do is put it in and play it. But that would be kind of boring. But, I don't know. Well, I've decided I'd cut a lot of time doing it that way. But I'll do a tour of the machine. On the side, you find the AC mains, the, mi the headphone jack, the remote, and microphone. There's no line in. Condenser microphone, which is right there, obviously. You know the grating. Eject button. Vicious spring. Doesn't really hurt that much. It just has a nice, solid um, top. The plastic handle, very typical. Um, I'm surprised. I wonder how many of them actually had it in upside down. I've put it. I've taken this machine apart and put the handle back in upside down before. On the bottom, you find the warning saying that there's no use of serviceable parts. For some reason, it's in French. Then there's another one warning on the silver label. Model number V114, series 709A. I have another tape recorder. This one is also of the same series, 709A. I will have a movie of this one later. It's very similar to Clyde Sight's stealth tape recorder. Um, actually, this, this cassette recorder, is, it's kind of, I like the looks of this thing. It's got nice brushed aluminum. It's pretty much mint, almost. It was dirty when I got it, so I cleaned it off. There's still a lot of bit of grime from me carrying it around a little bit. The speaker fuzzes a little bit, but it's not because it's blown. It's because it's not secured in very well. It wasn't to begin with. But I'm going to, okay, oh yeah. There's a mustard-colored re record button. Rewind, fast forward, play, oh, stop. Sometimes the play button shoots off. And then there's a volume control. And there's the little Lloyd's Electronics International thing way back there. That thing. Let's see how this thing sounds. Oh yeah. Rule number one. When doing a tape recorder video, make sure it's plugged in or there's batteries in it. This machine likes chrome tapes, but it didn't use one. This is a test of the Lloyd's V114 cassette recorder. It's DC bias. Um, I guess it's supposed to be I guess, a normal dictating distance. It's rather close, really. 
Um, this machine is DC bias. And it's kind of cool looking, but it's a bit more modern than most of my tape recorders in my collection. Overall, though, I really like it. I'm going to switch to the external microphone. Okay, I'm using the external microphone now. DC bias doesn't show up so much on this mic. The quality will be much, much higher. Use I'm also this using one. the microphone, and it's slightly closer than the condenser microphone, but I'll probably get a better quality anyway. This machine has automatic stop, automatic level control, and there is no auxiliary line, uh, auxiliary line in, so I'm going to have to record this straight from the radio through a speaker. Anyway, let's go on to the music recording. I used a cassette recorder, the Lloyds I showed earlier. I had the microphone a little bit too close. That be, uh, I'm trying to make, give this the, I'm interrupting the music so it doesn't get caught by WMG or YouTube or whatever. Yeah, can't really hear me very well. I'm hoping that uh, YouTube doesn't confuse my voice with the music. I'm pretty sure it will. Anyway, I know how to get it, the copyright infringement things undone. Because it's not really copyright infringement. Now, if you put in a regular tape, it sounds quite great. It's Green Onions again. <laughs> That one tape is sort of dull, so... I paid for this record. I recorded this whole tape off of records, straight on to my Technics M13. The only actual stereo deck that I have that's actually like to be in your home stereo. It's not one of those ones you just lay on top of stuff. It's when it would go with stuff on top and it would go in between things. My best and favorite set recorder. Anyway, I was Doobie Brothers when it when they gave it to sell hits albums. I bought a box full of tapes that look like this one. Twenty tapes for four dollars. It wasn't bad. Anyway, I like the set recorder. It's cool. It's really kind of interesting. Inside, it's got a lot of plastic parts, unfortunately, and it's got microchips and stuff like that. It's a bit modern, but it, it had this funny problem when I first got it. The um, volume control, like when you're playing it, the volume would start, would start loud, right, the way it's supposed to. And that would get quieter and quieter and quieter and quieter and quieter and quieter. And quieter. I had to clean the record play switch, and that works fine. Anyway, that was the Lloyd's V114-709A. The remake. Anyway, tape recorder enthusiasts enjoy.